GOP-controlled House has narrowly passed a bill to raise the nation's borrowing cap. But the bill is not likely to become law with Senate Democrats and the White House opposed to the measure's drastic federal spending cuts. Jared Hill has more from New York. The bill is passed. House Republicans cheered the approval of a bill that would raise the nation's debt limit by one and a half trillion dollars, as well as cut federal spending by around four and a half trillion. We've done our job. We're the only ones to lift the debt limit to make sure this economy is not in jeopardy. Passage of the Limit Save Grow Act is a major victory for Republican House Speaker Kevin McCarthy as his caucus tries to push the White House to the negotiating table. Happy to meet with McCarthy, but not on whether or not the debt limit gets extended. That's not negotiable. It would be an absolute crime to not extend the debt limit. Yesterday, the White House repeated its calls for a clean debt ceiling bill with no conditions after threatening to veto the House Republicans' measure. Meanwhile, Majority Leader Chuck Schumer pronounced it dead on arrival in the Democrat-controlled Senate. The GOP's default on America Act does not bring us any closer to avoiding a first ever default. The Department of Treasury has employed extraordinary measures to avoid default since the nation hit its borrowing limit back in mid-January. The Congressional Budget Office estimates that the country could default on its debt in July, though some analysts say as early as June, if Congress does not raise the debt ceiling. Jared Hill, CBS News. The bill calls back unspent federal COVID-19 relief funds, revokes some of the $80 billion for the IRS, including the Inflation Reduction Act, and tightens the work requirements for Medicaid and food stamp recipients. It would also roll back some of the president's signature policies.